So in the last few days, I've gotten more invested in Blinkist. Uh, what Blinkist is, you can see a screenshot of it here. They have thousands of books that they condense down into like Cliff's Notes, basically. All these books are, you know, 15 minute read, 21 minute read. Uh, you can read them or listen on audio. Uh, it's a good way just to get highlights of books and pull out the main messages. Traditionally, I'm pretty bad about sticking with books that I really should bail on. I, like, I feel invested in them and want to force my way through when it's a book I maybe shouldn't have even read in the first place, kind of wasting my time. So this is a good way to preview books, pull out some good highlights, learn a few lessons, and then either take those lessons you've learned and go with it, or maybe it'll inspire you to read the full book. Um, in my case, I also use it to refresh old books that I read before I was taking solid notes. So books I read years ago that I kind of sort of remember, I can kind of use this to refresh my memory, get some notes on, and kind of pull it out. So an example of that uh, is David Goliath by Malcolm Gladwell. Read like seven years ago when it first came out. It was a great book, um, but don't really remember a whole lot about it other than, you know, the little guy can beat the big guy because they're more nimble, talking about business and stuff. It's a, it's a good read. Um, so I want to read it. So Blinkist gives you a few ways to do that. Um, I can Once you connect it, you can send to your Kindle, which I do for a lot of them, if I want to, especially if I want to read outside this nice weather. Uh, reading from Blinkist on my iPad or my Android phone is tough just in bright light. Um, but you can also, of course, click on it. And this gives you, again, they have uh, so many blinks uh, per story. So you can see each each one, each book, just has a handful of short summaries of what's going on. Um, and then, of course, you can listen at the bottom there. So good way to read it. So you can read it in here and highlight things, or I can push to my Kindle and highlight things. Now, the catch is with Kindle, this pushes it through email to Kindle, which works great. I'm glad Amazon allows that. They don't allow you to easily pull your highlights out. It doesn't show up when you go to the, the Kindle notebook on the web to get your highlights like you normally would. Uh, the fastest workaround I found for that is to pull up the mobile app, which lets you then export highlights from any of the books. So it will sync over the one from my Kindle with the highlights onto my phone. I can then export from my phone to email and it kicks the highlights over that way. So. It took longer than it should have to figure that out, but ultimately it only takes, I don't know, a minute or so to grab the highlights and email them over. So not a big deal. So either read in Blinkist and highlight here, and then you can click on your highlights at the top, which I've done for um, a few books. Yeah, Procrastinate and Purpose have them in here, and I can pull those over to Rome, or um, again, pull them out from the mobile app, um, the Amazon Kindle mobile app, and send them over. And then really I just do two things in Rome. So in Rome, I have my book pages that I've talked about before. Yeah, I tag the author, put some tags in, I do have a couple new tags I'm using now. I have a Blinkist tag, or I have a no Blinkist if it's a book that doesn't exist there. So I know mostly for pre-reading, you know, if I can do a blink on it or not, um, it kind of helps. I have a new tag called done reading, just so I can filter off that later if I want to pull up my book list and then filter just by the ones that I've, I'm done reading. So I go to books, see all my books, and I can filter by, you know, only the ones I'm done reading. I can see what's going on there. Um, you can see the list of various ways I finished some of the books. Uh, we'll go back here to uh, David Goliath. So I have some of those. The Audible link is one I added recently too. So when I'm looking at books I want to read, I can see, I really maybe could use something from Blinkist, but I figured the Audible reading link is a good measure for how long a book is, um, how long it's going to take to read. And then the date finishes there. And so I do it two ways now. So I pull in my highlights from Blinkist, which isn't going to be a lot because again, the blinks are pretty short reads, 15, 20 minutes to read through. But I do try to highlight as much as I can. Uh, and, and put things in there and then link over as appropriate. But then I also go to Goodreads and grab the highlights from that because Goodreads will have on any popular book, pages and pages of highlights. Uh, so I'll go there and pull in usually the first page that's sorted by a number of highlights. So it should be the most popular highlights and pull all them in and again, link things around a little bit as needed. Really my next step here would then be to do some progressive summarization on this. And if you've not heard of that before, you should go read about that. But really I should start now combining the highlights from Goodreads and the highlights I have from Blinkist and coming with my own summaries and really digging in deeper. But getting from Blinkist to, to here is a pretty quick way to start learning about a book without having to invest, you know, 10 hours in reading it. You can invest, you know, 20 minutes in reading it, 10 or 15 minutes of, you know, meta work to get to this point and then spend maybe another half hour, an hour to, to dig through this. You'll have a pretty good feel for what the book's about in a fifth of the time. And again, in a lot of books, that's still not appropriate. I mean, you really need to dig in to hear the anecdotes and to really understand the full picture of what's going on. Uh, but for a lot of books, this is adequate. And for a lot of books, I'll get this far and say, okay, that was interesting stuff, but I'm glad I didn't invest 10 hours in it. You know, my, um, Dave and Goliath here, I, I would invest the time and it's a great book. I encourage that. But there's a lot of books I'll come across now that I don't do this, um, or I do this and I therefore don't want to read. And so it was nice. Yesterday I was able to blink through like four different books and start doing this. I have a couple now I do want to read more on and a couple that I just have some good notes and some good ties some good quotes and that kind of stuff and pulls in, uh, does a nice job. So combination of Blinkist 
and Goodreads and Rome uh, really makes a good way to consume a lot of information pretty quickly. And this is how I'm doing it for now. Hope that helps.